Hello, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to the channel. This is a process video for Shimmers Paints where, remember, use my name and you can in the comments and you will get a freebie. It's that easy. It's that simple. So I am getting out four different things from Shimmers Paints and I'll link them all down below. However, the foils is the mother of pearl is what I'm using right now. And I will let you know that if you're wanting a crisp, 100% thing to use for um, a stencil like I am, be aware that you are probably not going to get a complete crisp um, style from it, but it gives you the added textures with a smooth um, style so that you can still use it as a cut file, like use the cut file as a stencil and put this down without having such a big texture. And it is a huge element, especially for this style of a cut file that I got. This was from the hip kit long time ago. I couldn't even tell you when I got it. I just know that that's where I got this cut file from. And when you pull this off, you will see that some of them are smudgy and it's okay. And so here's a slow-mo of what it looks like and I had to let this dry. So off camera, I did also go through and back this cut file that I also got from the hip kit and I'm doing my technique. My technique on this is to get a colored to be able to show up. Since it's black, I got out my white and I edge the foam so that when you pull it up, you see where the circles are at. And then you just go through and you put down the sequence mix that you want to use. And I have two that are no longer available for Spiegel Mom scraps, but any sequence will work. And all I do is, is that I picked different little spots for the bells that were on this collection or like the um, ornaments, I should say, that were on this cut file and backed it with acetate. I get my acetate or my window clings or window sheets, whatever you want to call them, from close to um, from uh, Stampin' Up, and you can clean them a lot better so that you don't have like smudges and stuff on them, so that you have like that crisp look. And um, the collection that I am using is from the Hip Kit um, for that part of it, and it did come with some sequins as well. So I'm doing that in there, and I just added them in like three different spots. And they're all in kind of a different spot so that they're not all like seamlessly the same tile type of sequence together. And I just place a certain amount down. And then what I do is is that I come back in with the the um cut file like I am right there. And I've taken off all of the little bits and bobs and I glue down the pink area that you see, which is the foam tape that I'm using. And then I just place it over the top and then your shaker pockets are done. Now, I do absolutely love this um, technique. I happened to come across it a long time ago. It was a mistake. And then it, but it turned out to where my shaker pockets worked perfect. And so that is a good hack for you if you need to um, make shaker pockets, but you didn't want to have to like build it up. So now I'm coming in with the snowflake. So this is like the negative to that stencil I'm using. And I decided to turn in the snowflakes different colors. I used three different colors and the colors are Shimmers Precious Metal. The one that I'm using right there is Naughty or Nice. Um, the Inklings Naughty or Nice. And then the other one that I come in with the mint is It's Mint to Be. And these three colors match the hip kit collection from November's kit. And that's what I've been mainly using for all of my uh, December documenting. The photo that I briefly brought in just a little bit is um, Christmas Eve. It's where Kaylin puts out the cookies and the milk for Santa along with the carrots for the reindeers. Um, and we always take a photo of them um, this year. I decided to do it a little bit differently and um, I got some photos of it but I forgot to put her by it. It was just a long day. It's a weird, you know, it's a weird year um, but a good year. And so yeah, so here I am. I'm just getting these all done and yes, I do these on the mat because afterwards once um, all of this stuff is dry, I pull them off 
And then I do come in um, with a baby wipe or I use disinfectant wipes. Either way, any type of wipe like that will work. I wipe all of that off. I wipe off all of that and then it becomes sticky again. So I just um, clean it off. I'm fine with using it on my Cricut design or my Cricut mats. I know some people are very particular about it, but it keeps the stuff small. It makes less of a mess. And also at the same time, it keeps them flat. So when they're dry and they come off, you're not having to pick them completely off and they're crooked or they're warped or whatever, they stay flat. And then I did keep all of the other snowflakes as well, or at least most of them, and I'll use them throughout the, you know, throughout the winter with um, little bits of snowflakes that are handmade. I can color those as well, so I did take them all off. But here I am using just the scraps. I am, believe it or not, I am super duper close um, to being completely done with this collection. I think I may be able to get one more maybe one more um, collection out of this, um, layout out of this, and then I'm done with it. Like I am pretty, pretty tapped out on things. But um, I'm placing down my photo, and then now it's just pretty much little bits and bobs of what I want to put in there. I pull out everything that I have. As you can tell, there's like, I'm getting pretty low on things. Like there's not much left. Obviously, I got a lot of um, thickers left. I do come in with these because they're cookie-based looking um, wood veneer. So I grab three of them and I just place them on the solid pieces of the ornaments that was cut out. And uh, yeah, so make sure that you go check out everything down below. Um, I will have what is what I am using, the names and everything, make sure that you put my name in the comments. You will get um, a freebie then for that respect. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much there for shimmers. Obviously, you guys know I use shimmers all month long on my personal page or on my personal um, channel. And then also here, obviously, I use shimmers all the time for um, the shimmers uh YouTube channel too, but either spot, I use tons of it for the month of December. So make sure that you check um, out my channel. If you are new, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. I would love, we all would love to have you, whether you follow me on your on my personal channel or on the Shimmers Design Team, um, the YouTube channel there. Either spot, I would love to, we would love to have you. So I'm looking to see where I'm going to place the word cookies. And I put down cookies right there because this is going to go right next to the layout that I made for um, Daddy's Cookies. Now, if you are on the Shimmers Paints, check out my personal page. You will see that I did also use Shimmers on that um, layout as well, but they're complementary pages. Obviously, my um, Daddy's Cookies are, I explained what they are, but they're sugar cookies and that's what we leave out for Santa. And um, I did up how they made them. And then this is the day, you know, the night before Christmas Eve, you know, things like that. And she's wearing her new um, pajamas and all of that jazz. So I'm going in and I'm using some little um, dot or some little sayings here. I just love the little sayings um, that was on this from um, Pretty Little Studio. They work Almost, I think almost on all of my layouts that um, I put together this year, I think I've pulled at least one or two or three or four scenes on them. Um, this is where I've got most of the bulk left. Um, I got to figure out, I want to use those frames of some sort and I'm going to figure out how I'm going to use them. But I'm, I'm almost betting that it'll be shaker pockets and I will mark out frames. I think I'll... I think depending on which layout I use them for, I know what I'm probably going to be doing. So, I have an idea. So, here I come in with my se um, sequence. Now, I do, I'm like, I got to remember, I did not want to forget the snowflakes. So, I want to get the sequence out and I'm placing them all over. And then I'm like, ooh, I need the... The snowflakes so I get those and I'm working on those and there they are off to the side I um, turn off the camera just for a little bit so I can scrape them up 
But I don't use all of them, but I place them in all different spots just to add that little bit of extra pizzazz, that little bit of extra, um, they're almost looking like sequins with the color tones that I did. So I just placed them instead of a sequence, I placed those instead. And I tried to make sure that I placed them in different spots so I didn't have like two silvers in one spot or two mints in one spot. I tried. Um, it may not have not always happened, but obviously the still shots are coming up. I hope that um, you guys go check out. Make sure that you le um, leave comments down below. I love to see what you guys um, think of my layouts all the time. I do comment um, all of that jazz. And yeah, I love, I just love using their products. They're just amazing. I think I use them. Uh, this is just a major amount of what I have in there. Every time I see that there's a new color or the color kit that comes out, I'm constantly, I'm like, ooh, I gotta get that color kit. Ooh, I gotta get that. And I just, it, oh, I just love Shimmer's Paints. I think, um, when I started watching Missy Wooden, that's when I found out about Shimmer's Paints, and then I was sold ever since. Like, it just was, um, a blessing in disguise, if you know what I mean. So I round out this layout using my white gel pen. I gotta get a new white gel pen. This is driving me nuts. Like it just, but I wanted uh, something little to round out this and it's just an added touch. I'm not doing much. I'm just kind of adding a little extra whiteness around the edge to bring out that mo mother of pearl, which is a white iridescent. And then that is it. Still shots are coming up. I hope you all are staying safe. Have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.